Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Here I know to connect that way to the opposite field, like you did in the second inning there, um, upper deck. I guess what what do you see in that at bat? I guess what do you think has to all sync up for that to happen um, in that way? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, you know we faced him down in Miami, and I swung at a good amount of balls out of the zone against him last time. So I was just really trying to kind of keep him in the zone and not try and do too much, honestly, and got to a good hitter's count. And, you know, he let the ball out over the middle of the plate. But, uh, yeah, just stuck with the plan and uh, put a good swing on it. Does that, does that does one like that feel a lot different than, I don't know, a more run-of-the-mill homer um, just in terms of, like, distance and the way you connect it, or do they all kind of wind up feeling? Yeah, I mean, they all – you know, obviously some feel better than others, but uh, all of them, every homer is cool. Doesn't matter if it goes, yeah, <laughs> goes in the I'm upper right. deck or, or, or one row out. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I hit that one well. But, uh, you know, like I told Bogey, I said, you know, good first at bat and the other ones were kind of trash. So, other than that, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, obviously a good swing. You know, anytime I get a chance to play, it's, um, you know, I try and do something to contribute and help the team win. And Fetty threw the ball well tonight and all the other, you know, we had a ton of hits tonight. So it was a, a good team win. Thank you. Mark Zuckerman, massesports.com. Because Josh has uh, done so well, he's been playing almost every day at this point. Um, you're still hitting for power despite the limited opportunities you've had. What's allowed you to kind of maintain that when you're not maybe getting as consistent at bats as you've been used to in your career? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you have to do your work every day still. Um, I do my, my routine in the cage and, you know, make sure I do my stuff in the weight room. I think you know, the biggest thing that I've learned is, when you're playing every day and you get a day off, it's kind of a day off. Uh, you don't do too much. You might do some treatment, some stuff like that. But, you know, when you're not an everyday player, you have to prepare and stay on your routine. It's almost harder to do that when you're not playing. So I've been, you know, pretty consistent with that throughout the year. And I think it's kept me ready to play when it is my chance to play. And, you know, like you said, JB has been, been playing great. I mean, he's having a heck of a year and, you know, I couldn't be happy for him. Uh, you know, he works so hard in spring training. I think he's gotten so much better defensively at first base. It's, it's uh, you know, it's fun to watch. So it's uh, I'm happy for him. And, you know, hopefully he can finish the season strong and finish up what uh, what's already been a really good season and make it a, you know, a really, really good season. So you, you came into the season with the plan for how much you thought you wanted to play and, and what that might do for you. Do you feel like now that we're getting close to the end that it's worked out about how you would have hoped? Does that kind of justify in your mind the, the plan going in? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you never really know. I think we kind of figured somewhere between on the low end of 200 summit bats and on the high end of 300 summit bats, depending on, you know, if everyone stays healthy, if things happen. And, you know, I'm not sure where I'm at. I think I'm right around 250 or somewhere around there. So, I mean, I think, um, honestly, it's kind of what everyone on all sides expected. And I think it's worked out pretty good. I feel like I've been productive in my role and, uh, you know, I've enjoyed it. Jessica Camerato, LB.com. Hey, Zim, with that, the pace that you were just talking about, does it feel to you like you're in mid-September or does it feel like you're earlier in the season because you hadn't been playing as many games in a row? Yeah, I mean, my body definitely feels better uh, than it normally does, which kind of is the plan and sort of the reason you know, why I'm at this point in my career. So, uh, you know, I think everything that we talked about in the off season and spring training about, you know, not playing, you know, a lot in a row, if any in a row, uh, making sure I stay healthy the whole year. I mean, that was, that was the ultimate goal of all of this was to keep me healthy and to keep me productive. And, um, you know, honestly, I think it's worked out pretty well, but yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel better and, and fresher than, than I have in the past, but, uh, but yeah, that was sort of the, the plan and the reason for this. And it's worked out great. You also um, became tied for the most all-time career home runs with Ryan Howard against the Marlins. Is that any number <laughs> that you pay attention to? It's, it's 41 career home runs against Miami now. Uh, I had no idea to be honest with you. Um, but Ryan Howard hit a lot of home runs. So I guess that's a good guy to be tied with. <laughs> it's a Ryan thing. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. And Mark Zuckerman, MassSports.com. All right. I won't put you on the spot to make any major declarations here, but 
uh, how do you go about in your mind? Like, are you thinking beyond this year or is this something you just kind of want to get to the end before you really start thinking that hard about it? Yeah, I mean, I think you get to the end and I've said all along, just like I did last year. I mean, this is a decision that will be made in the off season. Um, I'll sit down with my family and kind of see where we're at. And, you know, this year has gone, gone pretty well. It's going to, you know, depend on how I feel after the season, depend on how I feel December 1st, honestly, if I want to start, start working out and getting, getting ready to, to prepare to be productive for another major league season. I think that's the hardest part is the, is the off season preparation and, and making sure, you know, for the two months, two and a half months before you go to camp that you're doing something four or five days a week. I mean, camp and, and the games and the season is the easy part. It's putting in the work that it takes to, to be productive before that. So, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, you know, obviously I think the team's in a lot different situation than it was at the beginning of last year. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a CBA that needs to be signed. We'll see how that goes. So uh, without getting into it too much, because you said you didn't want to get into it too much. Well, uh, those are some things that I'll have to think about. Got it. Thank you.